Hey guys, so I'm back today to show you how I make these tall flowers. They're gorgeous for embellishments and adding to projects and cards and things like that. So I'm using the tool that I picked from bbcraft.com and it's six inches wide um, and it's all glittery and sparkly and ombre and I love it. So what I've done, I've cut out 33 inches long um, because obviously we want a nice puffy flower. And what you're going to want to do then is cut it in half so it's only three inches wide, not six inches wide. Then with the glittery bit facing you, you want to scrunch it up in your hand like that and then wrap it around your hand. So you keep wrapping till you get to the end. So it's not perfect or nothing. Don't need to be perfect. Then I've taken a bit of scrap tool and I'm going to wrap it around the middle. So just tie it around the middle. So I'm not very good at knots. I've got fat fingers. So just bear with me while I tie this up. Make it nice and tight. I'm going to do a double knot, I think, so it don't come undone. There we go. Nice and tight. Move it down a bit because it's not perfectly centered. There we go. And then what you're going to do is you can either put your scissors through like that and cut it or you can just snip the ends off like this which is what I'm going to do snip it off like that and the same with this end you just want to snip it off like that and then I'm going to cut away the ties by here just so I don't have them there and then you just got to fan it out. It does take a bit of, I've made some of these and some of them have turned out awful and I did give up at one point, but then I sat and I fanned it out a bit and persisted and it turned into this cute little flower. So you've got double bits. So what you want to do is just snip at it no uh, particular order you don't have to snip at them all either it just makes it easier to spread them out you can order this tool from bbcraft.com i will leave the link in the description box below So you just keep snipping away and if some bits are longer than others you can give it like a little haircut you know when you used to have play-doh and you'd cut the hair of the play-doh just to round it up a bit although sometimes I get carried away <laughs> I'm like Edward Scissorhands my husband's in the room he's probably thinking what on earth is she talking about <laughs> So just keep cutting you don't have to keep cutting if you don't want to but I do because it just fluffs the flower out a bit more there we go so then you want to keep fluffing and what I like to do look at all that glitter there what I like to do is I like to press down on it to flatten it a bit because it is it is a bit puffy So press down a bit and then I've got these diamantes for the middle so I'm gonna pick I think I'm gonna go for that one that iridescent one and I don't use hot glue I, I don't like to really get my hot glue gun out so I've got this tacky glue and I use tacky glue for this one and it has stayed put so I'm just gonna put a big generous blob on the whole of this can you see so I put a nice amount on and then think where I want it and then just place it. But you're going to want to hold it down so it stays. Hold it down for a few seconds just so you're keeping it in place. Because you don't want it to fall off.
and you can faff a brand a bit more with your flower if you wanted to but there's my flower super quick and super easy you can make these smaller if you wanted to you can just again half so instead of three inches you can make it two inches wide or one inch wide but it just depends how big you want the flowers but yeah it's super easy and i absolutely love this tool it's gorgeous and look at them they look gorgeous on cards or any projects and if you make them smaller you could use them for pocket letters and things like that so that's my quick little tutorial guys please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and have a lovely weekend take care guys bye